On today's episode, we're going to be talking about pilot age. We're going to look at the restrictions on age. We're going to look at how the pilot shortage is is, is causing sort of problems. And we're going to talk about should we raise uh, raise this age limit or not. And we're going to talk about you know is it a good idea to hire an older pilot or retired pilot? Um, is it safe? And all this kind of good stuff. Now, welcome to Bizjet TV. If you've never been here before, lots of content about private aviation. Also, encourage you to join uh, and click on the join button below to become a Diamond subscriber, which gives you access to exclusive content. We're going to be publishing every week here just for the diamond subscribers only and also give us a super thanks at the end of the video if you thought you got value out of this so that's enough for the intro let's get in today's episode my name is Fabrizio Poli I'm your aviation advisor let's get into the meat of the episode so first of all there's a pilot shortage at the moment which has been caused by the lockdowns the lockdowns brought a lot of airlines to retire pilots early so guys took early retirement they took the money before the age of 65 which is the age at which a pilot can no longer fly uh, public transport so if you're flying for the airlines you can't fly for the airlines beyond the age of 65 if you're flying for a flying a private jet which is operated on a part 135 certificate or an AOC uh, then you can't fly uh, beyond the age of 65 you would only be able to fly a private jet that's operated privately so um, the people that have their own private jet actually have an advantage because they can hire these more seasoned pilots now question is it a good idea to hire an older pilot well it depends. If the guy's fit, he's passing his medical, he's fit with it mentally as well and physically, then why not? Um, so that's something you really need to look into. There's some pilots that I know that, you know, at the age of 74, 75, went for new type rating uh, on a very technological advanced aeroplane like a Falcon 7X and had absolutely no problem. So, you know, it all depends on, on and there's another guy I know that was flying well into his 90s. Um, and didn't have a problem. And this guy had you know thousands and thousands of hours. So it is a great advantage to have a pilot that's got a lot of experience. That's maybe a, a bit seasoned. These people take take less risks. Um, when they take a risk, it's more calculated because they've got all their experience to fall back on. It's also good to team up a young person with one of these experienced pilots because there's just this these guys have got such a wealth of information to transfer over and i think it's a bit of a pity that the airlines are retiring people at 65 because you know today a 65 year old is a lot fitter than a 65 year old was 25 30 years ago people tend to live longer and people are also a lot fitter and also if we look at the demographics there's a lot more people in that in that age bracket than there are in the in the younger bracket the problem today is a lot of young people don't want to become pilots it's cost you over a hundred thousand dollars to become a professional pilot um, and then you, you start your job and you're maybe making a couple of thousand dollars a month uh, in your first job so you know is it worth it well there's a lot of other professions out there that you can go for which will pay you a lot more money and cost you a lot less to qualify for so you know there is a shortage the shortage is going to continue unless the pilot salaries increase or unless we go from a two pilot cockpit to a one pilot cockpit um, in, in airline operations and that with AI and technology may also be coming you know around the corner I don't think it's gonna be round 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 the corner literally around the corner but you know probably in the next five to ten years we'll see more aircraft operated by one pilot as the pilot interacts with either a remote pilot which may be sitting on the ground um, or a, a form of AI um, that's certainly something that's being developed right now but in the meantime if you're gonna be buying a private jet I think it's a good idea to hire an older pilot someone that's maybe retired from the airlines it will depend on the individual and I can certainly help you scout the market and find someone suitable um, that's one of the things that I do um, so you can reach out to me ping me an email we can get on a call and see how I, I, I can help you with that um, so like love to hear your comments below uh, if you got value out of this video give me a super thanks you can click on the link below for the super thanks and also why not join uh, and become a diamond subscriber of Bizjet TV where you're going to get access to uh, special content and exclusive content just for the diamond uh, subscribers it published every week and that's all from Fabrizio Poli here on Bizjet TV and click on this playlist to have a look at all the different private jets and that on this other video as well about a recent accident that happened on a citation jet and that's all from Fabrizio Poli on Bizjet TV and I'll see you on the next one